Hi and welcome to the latest Hydra in a Box progress update and demonstration. I'm really excited to deliver this demo today. I've got a lot to show so I'm just going to dive right in. First, I wanted to announce we're going to be launching a beta testing program for the Haiku application we've been working on very soon now. We plan to announce it early next week, the first week of May and the beta program will start shortly thereafter. So if you are interested in getting an early preview of the work that we've been doing in this project and helping us test that work and make it better, uh, stay tuned for ways to get engaged. Uh, you'll see that this, this demo includes a lot of uh, UI improvements and we're getting quite close. It's, the user interface isn't 100% the way that we have envisioned, but it's making a lot of progress as I'm sure you'll see. So without further ado, I want to show off a feature that we didn't work on, the Hydra in a Box team, um, but that was done by some folks at UC San Diego and this is fabulous work and unanticipated but now in addition to being able to translate the user interface between English and Spanish you can also now translate it into Chinese which is great this is a, a real argument for the uh, the strength of community contributions and um, convergence around common code bases so really happy to see this land during the timeline of our grant. Okay, so one of the biggest focuses of our work over the past uh, six-ish weeks since, since my last demo has been delivering a new consolidated dashboard. So prior to this work there were two dashboards. There was the what you might consider a classic Sufia uh, derived user dashboard and then the new administrative dashboard and we have combined these into a single dashboard that just shows you what you need to see depending on your role in the system. So what you can see here is the consolidated dashboard. It starts off with uh, an overview page showing you a summary of repository activity. Some of these widgets aren't lit up yet because they depend on some Google Analytics data which we haven't yet integrated into our demo application on Amazon Web Services. But all the widgets here are lit up. They all work with real data. You'll see some reporting on admin sets. And uh, another thing that we've done is because so much of the work now in Haiku and underlying this in Hyrax is done in the dashboard, to give you a little more real estate, there's a collapsible sidebar now. This is inspired by a few, few other modern websites such as uh, waffle.io, um, but the idea here is that when, you, when you're doing work in the main view, you can just collapse the sidebar and it can give you some more space to do your work. Okay, I want to show you some changes to the work creation. So now I'm going to click over to works. I'm going to click add new work and you can see we've done put some polish on the work selection, the work type selection modal. And most of this is pretty similar to what we've shown in past demos. I'm going to move on. I will note we have added a new field to a new required field to works which is for rights statement. There used to be a field called rights which had a selection of licenses and after some consultation with the Hydra metadata community we decided to rename rights to license and to make it optional and to make right statements required. So you'll see that here and the values, the default values that you get for this field are from rightstatement.org. Really great work there, glad to lean on it. Okay, and now I'm gonna bounce over and show you more of the, the dashboard sidebar functionality. So you'll see we've been doing work on user management. There's now a manage users page. I'll show you more on that soon. There is a group management page, and you'll see I created a group here for the bio department. These widgets up here for searching and pagination all work. And then for each group, you get a name and a description. You can add users to the group. You can remove the group. All the sorts of functionality you would expect there. Let's see. Uh, for UI configuration, 
you can now go into appearance and choose a banner image. I believe I've shown that in the past, but what I haven't shown is now you can just change the colors of your site right here live in the UI. And you'll notice that I have no UI skills whatsoever because I've chosen a lovely green and orange uh, color scheme. So you can just see if I click header background color, I can click around in here and then save it and you'll notice up here the color changes. That was a really awful selection so I'm going to show you. I'm going to change it back. Right now you can change five colors. The header background, the header text, links, links in the footer, and the button background color. You can see the footer link color down here. Alright, now in addition I want to show the workflow roles page this has been polished to look a little nicer so now you get a selection of all your users up here and you have all their possible workflow roles here roles here and those display down at the bottom where you can remove them if you wish I'm not going to remove them at the, at the moment I'll remove that one okay and last I want to show the review submissions page which shows you this is one of the widgets that you would see not just if you're an administrator but if you're an administrative set manager or a reviewer and you wanted to check on uh, the status of mediated deposit workflows in your repository so you can come on over to review submissions see a list of your published works and some metadata about them here and you can filter like that it happens live and if you wanted to see a list of submissions that require review you'll see that that has a status of pending review you can go ahead and do that here and then I'm gonna go ahead and approve it and now that work should now be approved great that's now done. You'll see I have a notification under the little bell icon here. Deposit has been approved. All right. Excellent. And that's it for this demo. We'll do another demo quite soon. Right now we are um, we're finishing up feature work and we've largely made a transition to doing nonstop quality assurance testing in the browser and bug fixing to really polish this, harden it, and make it as robust as we can between now and when we, when a bunch of the team travel to Brisbane for Open Repositories 2017, where we expect to talk a lot about Haiku and the work that this project has done. So in the meantime, thank you for tuning in. And again, keep an eye out for an announcement really soon of ways you can get involved in the, the beta program for the Hydra in a Box project. Thank you.